What is up, Unity Nation? <laughs> I'm your host, Saiku, and in this video, we're gonna respond to Bracky's challenging me to a 10 minute game challenge. So I saw some people leave a very encouraging comment on my videos, really nice comment, like really, really just beautiful. Not gonna lie though, like <laughs> low key, it was a pretty encouraging comment too. I was like, haha, <laughs> chicken, they're calling me a chicken. So I decided that I'll make a game in 10 minutes too, because if Bracky's can do it, I can do it too. Well, that was actually something I doubted myself for before this challenge. So <laughs> thank you, actually, like all jokes aside, thank you, Brackies, for uh, challenging me to this. But yeah, without me actually just talking away your time, let's go ahead and check out what I created. All right, so I got the timer set to be 10 minutes, as you can see right there. And I'm looking forward to this. So <laughs> I'm actually a little nervous, not gonna lie. And it's really, really hot in here now. Maybe it's because I'm just gonna make a game, so. Whatever. So three, oh, three, two, one. Let's start. I just threw my phone away. I don't care. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and create a cube and position this to be zero on the Z axis. And we're gonna actually move it down a little bit. So just like that. Let me zoom in here. And then we're gonna just make it extremely long. And we're also gonna duplicate this. And this one is gonna be tagged as ground. The other one is not going to be tagged as ground because the one that is tagged is going to be the one to detect the fruits that fall off so that we can make a game over. So, okay. And now we're going to add the... This is the sprite, right? Yep. Oh my god, just create. Yeah, I don't care. Thank you. Uh, so let me add a rigid body to this. This is going to be our player. And I'm also going to have a box collider. And let me create one more box collider, actually. But this one is gonna be there, it's trigger, and scaled a little bit uh, larger than the other one. So, let's see, we can actually call this player. And now we're gonna go ahead and create a component, which is gonna be called player. So this is gonna be used to just move around the character, and I hope to God that Visual Studio doesn't take any longer than usual to open. Visual Studio, come on! <laughs> not now! I swear, you can do this anytime, but not now, thank you. So in here, we're gonna have a public float move speed, and then we're gonna say void update. And in here, we're gonna say if input.get key, key code a, transform dot translate vector three left times time dot delta time times move speed and then space dot world because that is now required with the new API. So that's gonna be copied and that's also oh god that's all oh my god can you stop thank you that's also gonna be pasted there this is gonna be D and instead we're gonna move uh, right there we go so uh, we can actually create one more thing so Void on trigger, enter collider other. Uh, if other dot tag equal to fruit, then we're gonna say, uh, oh my god, points plus plus and destroy other dot game object. Okay, so we actually need a variable for this. So public int uh, points. There we go. I lost so much time there. Good, good. I love this. Uh, 10 is gonna be our movement speed. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add the battle cannons in here. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this one in there. And it's position zero, good. Minus seven, oh, good. That's actually really good. So we're gonna duplicate this and this one is gonna be placed here. And this is gonna be rotated by minus 90, there we go. And then the other one is gonna be rotated by 90 so that they face each other. And now we're gonna open the prefab for this. We're gonna create a, oh my God, not resize, there we go. <laughs> uh, we're gonna create a cube and it's gonna be at the center of the mouth of the cannon here. So it would rescale a little bit. And this is gonna be used to just basically spawn um, the, the, the things. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, the fruits, there we go. So this one is gonna have, the cannons are gonna have a script called cannon. Create, come on, thank you. And we're gonna open this one up in Visual Studio, please, thank you. And here we're gonna say, so first and foremost, oh my God, I hate this so much. All right, public float timer, uh, min time, max time. Public bool reloaded public transform fruit that is going to be spawned and public game object or transform spawn point. All right, I don't, I'm not doing capital letters. 
if reloaded dead and then else so if it is not reloaded we're gonna reload it so if it is reloaded we're gonna instantiate instantiate a fruit spawn point dot position and then we're gonna say transform dot rotation so that it has the same rotation as this I accidentally zoomed out Jesus Christ <laughs> we're gonna set a timer equal to random dot range we can randomize this by saying random dot range min time to max time and then we're gonna say reloaded equal to false so here we're gonna say start coroutine timer there we go and down below we're gonna say I enumerator timer uh, then we're gonna wait for yield return new wait for seconds timer and then after waiting we're gonna set reloaded to be true oh god the timer is <laughs> the time is going off guys okay so here we're also gonna stop coroutine timer so that we reset it and now we're gonna go back to unity oh god error instantiate are you serious instantiate there we go oh my god are you serious reloady oh my god okay <sighs> brackets you win <laughs> oh god reload i s oh reloaded oh my god all right there we go are you happy now so let it compile there we go and now we're gonna drag in the cube for a spawn not there oh god spawn point and then we're gonna go to prefabs and we're gonna drag in the banana as fruit uh min time is gonna be set to 0.5 and then two for max time we're gonna go to banana we can add a tag for this oh jesus add tag and then say fruit all right and we're gonna also tag it as fruit so now we're also gonna add a component called objective let's just call uh obg <laughs> because that's easier uh, then we're gonna go ahead and open this up oh boy okay so we're gonna remove this line and we're gonna say public float x y public uh, bool fly left because we need to detect if this banana is gonna fly left or right so we're gonna say x uh, actually if fly left else there we go so we're gonna say x equal to random dot range uh, three to seven, and then y equal to random dot range five to ten, because it's gonna fly that high. Uh, and then we're gonna say, oh god, you, I forgot, public rigid body rb, and three minutes left. Uh, we're gonna say rb equal to or rb dot add force, and then we're gonna say x y zero. Uh, oh my god, xy0, and then what was it called? Force mode dot impulse, I think. Hopefully, this is right. So, we're gonna also copy paste this. However, this one is gonna be inverted, I think, because that's when it flies left. I think so. Let me just try that actually. So, okay, and now we need to set this like here uh, public bool is right, and if it is right, down here, oh god, down here we're gonna say if is right and then we're gonna say, uh, oh I forgot transform game object <laughs> equals to, it's not a game object but whatever as transform, so we're spawning this as a transform as a variable that we refer to and then we're gonna say game object dot get component uh, obg fly left equal to true, alright? so, oh! Uh, now to the banana object, we're actually gonna go ahead and um, oh yeah, I, f I almost forgot this. Oh yeah, we need to add the rigid body first. There we go. And now we can drag in and drop here, and we're also gonna have mesh collider is trigger good. Okay, okay. So let me try this. It should now spawn the fruits. Oh god, they're flying so high up. Okay, uh, let me see. Are they set to be... None of them are set to be fly left. Okay. Oh, it's because I didn't tag... God damn it. Okay, I know what's wrong. Uh, it's right. There we go. Please work, please work, please work. So now this one should... Okay, good. Good, good, good. So I know what's wrong here. I know what's wrong here. We're going to call this start instead. And now 
we also have to detect the ground. Uh, on trigger enter collider other if other dot tag equal to ground. Uh, I don't remember this. I actually learned this from Bracky. So using Unity engine management, and then we're gonna say, oh god, scene manager load scene scene manager dot get active scene. I think it was, and then lo uh, build index. There we go. I think something like that, right? I hope so. Bracky, thank you so much for this code. I actually didn't know about that. Method must have a return type. What do you mean? Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Okay. It's going to be a void, of course. And now go to the player. Go to the player. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, uh, print points. Oh, no. Time is up. Points. Let's see if it works. Time is up, time is up, time is up. I get it, I get it. Calm down. Dismiss. Please work. Please freaking work. Whew. Yay. Oh, it actually does work. <laughs> okay, the game does work. So you can pick them up. There's this weird animation going on. And it also prints the points here. And it's correct. Whew, good job, Sam. I'm so proud. Oh my god. I'm actually sweating like a donkey right <laughs> It's It doesn't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel good, okay? So the only thing that is missing right now is it doesn't do game over. Wait, it does! It does do game over, yes! I'm done. I'm officially done. I was literally two seconds late because... God damn it, Visual Studio. Bro, what is this? What? What is this? When did I paste this in? I know there is something that I copied, but how do you paste it in? I didn't even hold down control and press V. How do you do that? How is that possible? Ah, oh, God damn it. Dude, I was two seconds late because of that. Otherwise, I would have been exactly on time. Brackies, please, please accept this. <laughs> Please say this is good enough. Jesus Christ. This is so stressful. How did you do it? You made like one of the greatest looking mobile games ever in like 10 minutes And it's like I barely made this and look how ugly it looks <laughs> What is that? It looks ready for Steam at least, right? Right? It looks definitely ready for Steam. Oh my god. What is that? Okay, I'm just gonna wear this like that uh Okay, this was actually more stressful than I thought so. Alright, there we go. So that was pretty much it for this challenge. Uh, thank you, Brackies, for you know, first and foremost inviting me on this idea and also challenging me. But yeah, so additionally, I would like to challenge you guys to do the same challenge with me. So make a game in 10 minutes. I don't care how good it looks, to be honest. Post it on YouTube, especially if you can, and post it in our Discord server. Brackis also has his channel in his Discord server where they basically, I think it's called 10 Minute Game, and they basically post all their submissions in there. Now specifically, I would also like to challenge Tara Games to do the same challenge with me. So if you didn't know, he has a YouTube channel where he posts some game development content, so make sure to check him out. And like Brackis did with me, also comment on his videos to encourage him. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what you guys come up with, and I really want to play your games actually. I may do like a build of this game and release it to somebody for just for them to play it But I was gonna actually give the idea to you. So do that with me um, Post it in our discord server post it on here um, Give it give it as a link in your YouTube videos description box because I really want to play them as well So once again, thank you so much Rakis for actually challenging me to this this competition <laughs> This challenge uh, inviting me to do it. It was really fun and I actually like saw things that I couldn't see before I didn't think that it was possible to make a game in 10 minutes But yeah with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video I'm looking forward to see your submissions and see what you can come up with in 10 minutes I'm really looking forward to it actually so make sure to post it on YouTube as well I'll also be very active in the comment section and in our discord server and if you want to join discord by the way There's a link to it in the description. So I'm looking forward to see you guys there. Peace out. Have a good one written should have been dead a long time ago
I would also like to give a huge shout out to Richard Stance, Cupola, and all of our other Patreons supporting the content and this channel. You guys rock.